Good evening, class. Uh, right now, I'm going to give you some information for chapters one and two. So in chapter one, introducing the world's largest industry, tourism, um, we get into the basics of the history related to tourism. Uh, introduction, uh, talking about it, whether or not there's a career for you, uh, the basics as it relates to classification, uh, what tourism includes, uh, there's a great figure on page 6, figure 1.1. Uh, you have food and beverage, destinations, accommodations, transportation, travel agencies, attractions, and entertainment. Um, always pay attention to the models, the figures, the facts, uh, the shaded areas. On page 8, you start the history of travel and tourism. Pay careful attention to the different eras. Why they came about, what describes them, what makes them different, um, become familiar with the different eras in terms of um, what it was like to be a traveler, uh, why people traveled the way that they did. Um, there is a great rundown on the history of tourism on page 9, so become familiar with that. Um, one that you'll enjoy is uh, in 2001, Dennis Tito launched um, launches the advent of space tourism. So you became the first space tourist. On page 10 and 11, they continue into the eras, um, mobility area, uh, era, modern era. Uh, again, pay attention to the FYIs and the shaded areas. Continuing through the chapter, um, uh, gets into a little bit of the Traveler's World, Why People Travel. Uh, know the difference between business travel and personal travel. Uh, simply put, business travel, people are traveling for work, um, and that's one kind of travel. Uh, in the hospitality industry, we enjoy those people because they tend to spend a little bit more money. They'll spend more on a hotel room, they'll spend more on dinner, because frankly, they're not paying for it. Um, there is additional research about those kinds of people and whether or not they do actually spend more. Um, but by and large, they're going to spend more than a family who's trying to save money. Um, so they're going to go for the nicer hotels. They're going to go for the nicer restaurants. They're going to rent a car and not care about the full price. Whereas somebody who's traveling for personal purposes, uh, for pleasure, uh, they're going to watch most of their money. Um, they're going to look for the deals. They're going to spend a little bit more time trying to find that um, better price. Um, so at the bottom of page 14 you have figure 1.5 which describes the reasons why people travel. Um, let's see, pages uh, 18 and so forth talks about the back of the house of travel and tourism, uh, management, marketing, finance. Um, talks about on the bottom of page 21 the whole background behind the um, the pineapple and why that's a symbol for hospitality. Challenges and opportunities on page 22. Um, it is a huge, huge industry. People are always going to travel, um, so there's always going to be a business there. But it is changing, and you'll see within the reading, um, talk about technology, talk about the change in habits for travelers. Uh, know what the World Tourism Organization is, the WTO, and do not get that mixed up with the World Trade Organization. Those are two separate things. Uh, and at the end, uh, definitely pay attention to uh, the discussion questions, one of which will be on uh, for homework for you. Um, but always pay attention to the glossary. If there's a term in there that you're not familiar with, go back to it, uh, and that'll take care of chapter one. Um, going right into chapter two, it really is the essence of why people travel um, and marketing to the travel public. Um, there's some nice maps. Um, there's some good information. Uh, they talk about the decisions that lead to people traveling. Um, it gets a little bit um, psychological in this chapter. Uh, it's all in the details, talks about push and pull motivations. Make sure that you understand Maslow's hierarchy of needs. 
Uh, this is one that you may see on a quiz or a test. Um, and it's just a really good one to know, um, a really good theory to know across the board for any industry. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is, is referenced in, in virtually every management um, discussion. On page 36, we get into physiological needs, uh, safety, belongingness, esteem, self-actualization, uh, as it pertains to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Uh, again, it gets very psychological on pages 38 and 39. Um, understand segmenting the tourism market. Understand why people travel. Um, gets into demographic segmentation. Pay particular attention to the uh, mature market segment. Uh, the mature traveler is one of the fastest growing um, and incentive travelers know what Smurfs are. No, they're not the little blue men and women. Um, but you know, when you read all the shaded areas um, and and read the different sections, uh, the things that are headers, those are the ones that you want to pay attention to. And those are the things that you're certainly going to be um, tested on. Special interest travelers. Um, understand that there's so many more things that we do now uh, in terms of tourism. People are going to tourism for uh, adventure. They go for uh, medicine. Uh, people traveling to other countries just to get medical treatment. Um, it's medical tourism. So there's all types of things that are out there. Uh, and this chapter certainly gets into all of it. So these are just some notes that I wanted to share with you all. Just a short uh, recap of the chapters and again uh, there'll be a discussion question from this chapter that uh, you'll participate in and make sure you look at the glossary. Uh, chapter 2 is a little bit bigger but there's a number of things on here that I would pay attention to um, especially being incentive travel, uh, smurf, uh, teleconferencing, knowing what teleconferencing is uh, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much and have a great week.